I'm Keith Michael. This reflective video is part of my ePortfolio, which is a requirement for graduation from the Masters of Educational Technology program at Boise State. A little bit about me, I've been teaching for eight years now, and I teach seventh and eighth grade science, as well as assist with technology at Wiener High School in Wiener, Arkansas. I've been married for almost 17 years to my wife, Suzanne. I have two daughters, Sarah, 12, and Jessie, 7. And last but not least, my favorite sport is NASCAR, and I always attend both spring and fall races at Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. My most significant experience while completing this degree is simply learning outside the box. Learning how to effectively integrate technology into the classroom, seeing my students learn and say, wow, that's cool about an assignment. I have also gained a confidence that I didn't have before entering the EdTech program. I enjoyed many of the classes while at Boise State, but there are a few projects that stand out in my mind. The courses that stand out in my mind are EdTech 502, Internet for Educators, EdTech 503, Instructional Design, EdTech 533, YouTube for Educators, and last but not least, EdTech 504, Theoretical Foundations of Educational Technology. A few meaningful assignments from EdTech 502. The assignment WebQuest and Virtual Field Trip are two meaningful projects from EdTech 502. Internet for Educators was such a meaningful course in so many ways. Learning how to build and design websites was a valuable lesson, especially in our technological society. It's amazing how I've been able to get students interested in work by posting an assignment or a PowerPoint to my school website. This year, from the knowledge I've obtained in this class, I did a workshop for our faculty on how to build classroom websites. And all this is possible because of the knowledge that I gained from the Internet for Educators course. WebQuest and Virtual Field Trip were invaluable lessons learned in the Internet for Educators course. WebQuest is a great tool that I put to use in my Arkansas History classroom. WebQuest is an inquiry-based uh, lesson format where the majority or all of the lessons information comes from the Internet. So, I created a lesson about the six geographical regions of Arkansas in the WebQuest format. My students love this style of assignment because using technology in this manner is an exact fit for where students today function on a daily basis. Virtual field trip was an assignment I found useful in the classroom also. I could take information that would normally be taught in a traditional manner and put it in a web page format similar to WebQuest. With the virtual field trip, I used technology or teaching materials that normally would have been taught in the, directly from the textbook and designed a web page with links to specific time periods in Arkansas history. Before taking Internet for Educators course, I wouldn't have had the skills necessary to design this type of lesson. The most meaningful assignment from EdTech 503, Instructional Design, was the Instructional Design Project. For this project, I chose the topic of integrating the iPod Touch into the classroom. I gained a better understanding of the saying, the best things come to those who wait because the instructional design project made me realize that things don't happen overnight. So many times we do things off the cuff without putting a lot of in-depth thought into our projects or plans. Since integrating things such as the iPod Touch in the classroom usually requires budget funds, we need to prove our reasons for wanting to implement things of this nature in the classroom. A project of this nature also requires a needs analysis, clear and concise objectives using blooms, and some type of evaluation tool. The most meaningful assignment from EdTech 533 YouTube for Educators was the interactive video quiz. 
The interactive video quiz required learning how to shoot and upload video to YouTube. The interactive video quiz stands out in my mind. My students had never taken a quiz online, much less interactive. It really made an impact on my students. Because students today uh, are used to having technology in their hands 24-7, this type of an assignment really impacted my students. And a quiz of this nature puts it in their comfort zone. Another class that was of great impact was EdTech 504, Theoretical Foundations of Educational Technology. This class has taught me to stop and think how my students' brains work and how their thought processes develop. For centuries, teachers have taught students what they need to know and how to learn it. This class forced me to stop and look at all the different learning theories and styles. It showed me over and over that not all students learn in the same format. Some may be visual, audio, hands-on, or kinesthetic learners. I need to make sure that my teaching style incorporates all of these different aspects. There's not just one right way to teach students. Students must be given the chance to learn in their own way. The greatest impact my courses at Boise State has had on me has been the new gain confidence. Most importantly though has been the impact on my teaching. Students tell me after an assignment that they enjoyed doing that assignment. I've also seen them demonstrate their newly learned knowledge which is a great benefit for me and the students. I find that my students work harder with assignments such as WebQuest and Virtual Field Trip and it makes me think of the title of the book never work harder than your students. Well, that's actually what's happening to my students in the classroom. I found that professionally I've changed because I've become more confident as a teacher. And I've also taken on a leadership position by becoming the assistant technology person on campus. And just a few weeks ago, I gave my first professional development to my fellow teachers, teaching them how to make classroom websites. My big story of accomplishment is gaining the knowledge and confidence to become a better teacher by incorporating technology into the classroom, which allows students whom are more hands-on or kinesthetic learners to perform better. Also, I was the first person in my family to graduate from college, and now I'm about to graduate with my master's degree. In conclusion, I've enjoyed my time at Boise State. I've learned many things in the last two years. Personally, I feel I've learned more because the courses weren't in a traditional setting, but were more accessible any time of day and required some hands-on skills. In the beginning, I worried about the distance between home and my professors if any problems arose, but quickly learned that the distance didn't matter. I will miss Boise State, but I have to say I'm looking forward to resuming some sort of normal life.